tonight. They met at Central High, which is on the list to be closed next year. KMBC 9's Jackson Kurtz live at the school tonight, 33rd in Indiana. Jackson, they met Monday night. That meeting got loud and angry in a hurry. What about tonight? Well, people are still pretty upset with the district. We heard from parents, alumni, and folks in the community, as well as students for the first time, as what, what life would look like for them if the school were to close down. Now, some of those concerns that was mentioned tonight includes losing those great facilities at Central, like the Olympic-sized pool, losing that rich history of decades of the school, and the lack of safety that some students could face if they go to a school not in their own neighborhood. Now, if Central were to close, it would be repurposed by the district and students would be transitioned to Southeast High School. But student staff and alumni who all spoke tonight at the meeting say that would be a bad idea. Central High School has all the tools necessary to be successful. It makes no sense to send these kids halfway across town to the unknown. It would be a shame to lose all that history. Central is an anchor to our community. What will happen to our community when we are buzzed away? I came here on purpose for this facility and for this pool and for this community. You guys deserve everything that the other communities have. And it's not fair that this community is not getting what they deserve. Now, the district says their goal of these meetings is to get feedback from the community so they can move forward with that 2030 blueprint plan. Nothing is final right now. These are just recommendations. Jackson, I want to go back to Longfellow Elementary tonight because that is where the carbon monoxide leak happened. Did you hear from any of the parents that were in attendance tonight from there? We didn't, but that school is similar to Central that it would be repurposed right now under the district's 2030 plan. Kids in those schools will be transitioned to different elementary schools, but still nothing set in stone. Back to you.